Hello everyone, welcome back to Sleep Talk. I'm Rachel, as always, please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow me on Instagram at Sleep Talk PJs. You can also join my new Facebook group, Little Sleepies Anarchy, um, which I just started yesterday. Um, kind of came about um, based off of some stuff that went down in a no rules VST group that I'm a part of, which I still am, I still very much enjoy, um, but I've been farting around with the idea of starting my own Facebook group for a little while and this is kind of just like the push I needed to just like go for it. And it's been really fun, it's been a wild ride. Um, uh, it's a no rules BST group, you know, so you can do whatever you want. Anarchy, you know, because just because we're mamas doesn't mean we're not dangerous. Um, and we can chat and have good times and buy, sell, trade jammies, whatever. Um, but the deal was that if we reached 500 members um, by Valentine's Day or sooner, I would give away a 2T Nua Tags Mountain set. Um, and we reached 500 members in like uh, 12 hours. It was crazy. So I gave those away tonight on Instagram Live. If you saw um, my IG, you can check that out. It was really fun to do. Um, I felt like a game show host. Um, so I got to live a little bit of that dream. So thank you for that, everyone. And I look forward to doing another fun giveaway, at like 1,500 members. I haven't really thought of anything yet. If you have a suggestion for a fun uh, contest or giveaway, definitely comment. Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you got to say. So um, tonight I want to talk about a few things. Um, I want to talk about the Luna Neutral drop that's happening tomorrow. Um, I know some people are excited. I'm not feeling the same energy that I did with the dinosaur drop. I just feel like, I don't know, they were like, it's back and like being all like teasy on the, you know, VIP page and, and then, it, and then it ended up being Luna neutral. And I don't know, for me personally, it's just not that exciting of a print. Now, when I first bought Little Sleepies, in January of 2020 or something like that. Um, the very first two prints I ever bought was the purple watercolor um, or purple tie-dye. I don't know exactly what the official name is. You know what I'm talking about. And Luna Neutral. So they just dropped Luna Neutral. Um, they just, just dropped Luna Mauve. Um, I thought like, I'm gonna go gender neutral. I'm gonna get Luna Neutral and I got it. Um, and then my girl couldn't wear it until she was like four months old because they run so big and stretchy. Uh, I put it on her and it was great and she wore it. She's like super cute or whatever. But like, I don't know. It's just not that exciting of a print to me. And I, I get it. Like, it's called neutral. We're not supposed to be like dazzled by it or anything. But um, some, I don't know. Some of the moons are like flesh colored and... When she wore it after a while like the white on it got really dull and she was super young so you know we didn't have like her crawling or walking or getting into stuff really so with the white cuffs and everything i just feel like with an older kid you're probably gonna have issues with that even more than i did and it just faded really bad so it wasn't it didn't end up being one of my favorites i actually um gave it away about a week ago i did like a play bundle for this woman um, she's actually had a really cute idea. She was taking like play little sleepies jammies, cutting them up, was going to make a quilt. She bought like, you know, I don't know, five or six of Optimi and I was packing up her bag and I saw my Luna Neutral just chilling in the corner. I was like, ah, she'll like that. And so I gave it to her and you know what? She didn't like it. She did DM me and said thank you. So that was really, you know, nice. But I'm really glad she can use it. She has it. It's just not something for me. I guess I just see it. And I see some people getting excited and I'm just like, do you really like this print or do you like, do you just like moons? Do you just like the moon? Um, because I get it. I like the moon too. And that's probably why I bought it in the first place. Cause I was like, ah, yeah, the moon. I'm into that. I'm going to buy that. Um, it's something I have to ask myself all the time when it comes to the color turquoise. I'm very drawn to it. It's actually my birthstone. Whenever I see it, um, I was born in the Southwest. Um, when I see it, I'm like, oh my God, turquoise. And then I have to like be like, whoa, do I actually 
like this shirt? Do I like this print? Or do I just like it because it's turquoise? And I feel like that can happen sometimes um, with certain things that you like, like the moon or mushrooms or flowers or whatever, you know? It's like, do I actually like this? Or do I like it because it's, you know, that? Anyway, I feel like in general, it's not like a super exciting print for me. Definitely gonna sit this drop out. I'm sure people are gonna go nuts for it. Um, everything's gonna sell out, but I don't think it's gonna be as intense as it was for dinosaurs last week. So I wouldn't like panic super hard over Luna Neutral. Plus they're making it a signature print. So I think, you know, they'll have rolling restocks throughout the year. So don't get your panties in a bunch if you can't get what you want. I'm sure they'll restock more of it and people will be selling it. So don't worry, you'll get it. Um, Luna Neutral's coming. Um, enough of that boring print. Um, I want to talk about a few things shockers this week um actually not few mostly one so there in a couple groups i saw people donning a tide pool swaddle now this came out of like left field totally out of nowhere um tide pool swaddle went for over 300 dollars that's more than I saw a navy puppy swaddle go for. And everyone's all about navy puppy. You know, I don't know. Maybe you've seen a navy puppy go for more than 300 I personally haven't. I think the highest I saw was like 285 or something. People were going back and forth, paying it forward. All this crazy shit. Honest to God, I don't even know how the seller like kept up with all the pay it forwards. Because there was so many people like sliding in $5, $10, $20. People were like really invested in this one particular dawn. Um, and then it came out to $305 for the swaddle. I don't know if it was just an individual person if they would have gotten that price, but there was a second one that got up to, um, or not close, maybe not over 300, but darn close, or maybe it did, I don't, I don't know, whatever. But I, I guess for me, like I look at Tidepool and it's very beautiful, vibrant, swirly, magical, whatever, but I, I guess I was just so surprised to see something that's basically essentially just tie-dye um, go for such a wild price. I mean, it's not mountains, it's not sunflowers, it's not puppies, and I, I was just blown away at the price. Um, again, I mean, what do you think? Tide pool? Are you yes? Are you no? I've never seen this print in person. It could be something that like totally knocks your socks off when you see it in person. Um, it looks very vibrant on the screen, so I could see how that could be the case. I would like to get my hands, if you have one, um, let me know. I would like to get my hands on one to see it in person so I can kind of assess that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, Tide Pool coming out of there. Psh, 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 psh. Um, coming to Tide Pool coming in hot. Oh, and um, because in my last episode, I totally forgot I was swept away by the drama. Um, I forgot to share a boutique with you, so this week I'm going to share with you two um, boutiques where you could find some little sleepies that are out of stock on the website. The first one is Bunny and Clyde. Um, they're based out of Lake Mary, Florida, but they have some uh, pink and gray kisses, uh, winter stripe, uh, sweetheart floral, a bunch of random stuff. I've ordered from them before, super sweet shop. Um, if you're looking for those things and they have a bunch of other things, you should definitely go there and check it out. Um, another shop uh, that has some out of print items uh, is Little Red Barn Door and they're based out of Geneva, Illinois. Um, they have a bunch of stuff as well. I know I saw someone the other day looking, deciding that they were disso for gray sweet treats now that it's sold out. Um, they have gray sweet treats. They have a lot of, um, solid colors. They have sky blue, they have aquamarine, wisteria. I think they have some bubblegum pink as well. Um, some clementines, the pants with the short sleeves. So if you're looking for some of that, get on over there as well. Just some, you know, tips just to help you out if you're looking to find a few things. So hope that helps mama. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, all I wanted to chat about this week. So if you are on Facebook, join Little Sleepy's Anarchy. Um, we're here to kick ass, sell jams, take over the world. Um, just, you know, low key kick it. Um, in the pajama land. 
Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm looking forward to do more fun giveaways. Uh, comment, subscribe, share. I have a lot of fun doing this channel for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy watching it. And uh, what do you think? Are you in for Luna tomorrow? Are you out for Luna tomorrow? Let me know. want to hear it. Maybe you can sway me to the Luna side, to the dark side of the moon. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.